What's good, Star Wars fans? We've got some new Star Wars gaming news to go over today, along with Disney also releasing our first look at their new game show, Jedi Temple Challenge. That's the news roundup today, let's get into it! ILMX Labs has announced the news of a brand new Star Wars VR game that is currently now in development called Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. As the name suggests, the brand new VR game will take place in Disney's Galaxy's Edge theme park, better known as simply Black Spire Outpost on Batuu in Universe. We are so excited for fans to step into Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge later this year. This action-packed adventure not only speaks to the promise of connected and complementary experiences by extending the lore around Black Spire Outpost, it represents another meaningful step in ILMX Lab's quest to transition from storytelling, one-way communication to story living, where you're inside a world making consequential choices that drive your experience forward. The game will give players the opportunity to live out their very own adventure and explore part of a galaxy far, far away in virtual reality. Containing a new original story, it's set to feature both new and iconic characters from the Star Wars universe, with multiple styles of gameplay and difficulty settings to accommodate a wide variety of players, from the casual Star Wars fans to VR gamers alike. The rich storytelling in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge has redefined what a Disney park experience can be, and we are thrilled fans will have an opportunity to discover new stories, meet new characters, and explore new regions of the planet Batu in Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Now our guests can immerse themselves in these stories in both inside and outside our parks. At the moment, there are no details on when exactly Tales from the Galaxy's Edge will release other than, of course, sometime later this year. However, considering that ILMX Lab are working on this title in collaboration with Oculus Labs, then it's quite possible that it may start off as an Oculus-exclusive game. Of course, if Vader Immortal, ILMX Lab's other VR game, is to be an example, then there is a possibility that Tales from the Galaxy's Edge could transition to other VR systems later on as Vader Immortal, which first released for the Oculus Quest and Rift in May of last year, is now officially coming also to PlayStation VR this summer. So there's always a chance for Tales from the Galaxy's Edge to do the same. This week, Disney also released our first look of their new Star Wars-themed kids game show, Jedi Temple Challenge. First announced as a Disney Plus original, this show will now be available for free on Star Wars Kids. This change in platform was mainly done in an effort by Disney to make Jedi Temple Challenge available to as many young fans as possible, even those of course who don't have a Disney Plus subscription. That said, it's very likely Jedi Temple Challenge will still release on Disney Plus after the first season is complete on Star Wars Kids. The show will debut on June 3rd, and I gotta say, Ahmed Best is looking pretty good donning those Jedi robes. Honestly, I wish there was a show like this back when I was a kid, because I'd most definitely would had watched it. It certainly looks like it won't be long now until we get to learn and even see more of EA's newest Star Wars game. The one we're talking about is of course Project Maverick, a rumored starfighter simulator that is currently being developed by EA Motive in Montreal. On Thursday, Motive's Twitter account posted their very first tweet, saying, we're here, the Motive family is excited to be joining on social platforms to share on who we are and the work we do. Really, we couldn't imagine a better time to start connecting with everyone online. Let's go. And in addition to this, Jordan Mason, who's broke many different Star Wars scoops before in the past, tweeted out that next week Project Maverick may finally be getting revealed out to the public. Thus far, we know very little about Project Maverick other than its motives for standalone game and will feature starfighters in some capacity. Some rumors state that it will be a starfighter simulator, while others say it could even be a spin-off to the beloved Rogue Squadron series. And considering Motive's work on the single-player campaign in Battlefront 2, then I think it's safe to say that the story mode in Project Maverick is at the very least in good hands. But what do you all think about this news? Were you a fan of Vader Immortal and are now excited for Tales from the Galaxy's Edge? Are you going to watch or at least check out Jedi Temple Challenge? And what are your expectations for what Project Maverick will and should be? Let me know down in the comments below. 
And remember, for all your Star Wars news, keep it here to Silo.